How's it going, my newts and dudes? My name is Digit, and welcome to Backbone. This isn't a full game, it's just a demo, but the game itself looked really, really interesting. It's sort of like a uh, noir detective sort of thing. Um, I don't really know much about it, other than it looked really cool and I kind of wanted to play it. So, let's get started. We're back. I just had to go and correct some of the settings. They weren't really uh, working for me. So, I guess I'd... Alright. Let's have a look around the living room. Okay. You can look at the media set. This... <clears throat> this damn thing stopped working a long time ago. Gotta hit Frankie up next time in Fussdale. And then I... And when I have cash. So never. <clears throat> kind of... Kind of sounds like Batman. I feel like he's kind of the hard-boiled detective. He should have a gritty sort of voice. No, it's a fridge. Call mom. Buy soap. Pay bills. Don't die. Sounds like a good plan, mate. Photochemicals. Leave, leaving, I'm leaving developers in kitchens is a sure road to poisoning. Or a great suit. That I'll, I gotta change that voice. It's hurting my throat. <laughs> I'm not practiced enough. Hard to get tired of this view. Anything? Okay. We'll just make our way this way and then head all the way over the left. Go into the toilet. Toilet books. The Great Apes. The Great Story. Swell toilet read. Yep. Okay. It uh, doesn't look like there's much in there. Okay. Let's just go and get started. I'm really loving the ambience of this game so far. This is, it's really sort of cozy to play. Everything knows its proper place. <laughs> Insurance frauds, lost cars, estranged lovers. Should probably get rid of some of these old files. Oh, uh, okay. Ooh, that's neat. Can I, can I, can I, can I pick that up? No, I cannot. Okay, green, 4 p.m., John D., insurance fraud. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I just have to clean the place. That works. Ah, there we go, place dishes. I'll wash these later. Probably not. Um okay, that must be that must be Mrs. Green. Hmm. The music. Eh, excuse me. I'm looking for Detective Loader. We spoke on the phone. Ooh, okay, we have options. Um I gather you have a case for me, Miss Green. At your service, Mrs. Green, how's your day? Okay, um... Okay. We're, we're just straight to the point. Odette, please. And it's a matter I'd like to be discreet about. Um... Alright, what are we dealing with here? I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see? I'm listening. He just... He hasn't been himself lately, getting home at odd hours, making weird excuses. Uh, you suspect he's cheating on you? I think so, but I'd need real proof, right, to go to the court? Court? Are you filing for a divorce? That's right, and above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't even be a question. Final details, then. I'll need a picture and information about his routine. Sure, what do you need to know? Okay, uh, where can I find him usually? Usually at work or at home. He never stopped, used to stop anywhere. Now it's all the time. So he acts out of character. He was always a private kind of man. Now he start, now he started getting home late, missing work, and smelling funny. What kind of smell? Like perfume, and not mine. Alcohol, smoke, and something poignant. A kind of herbal stink. How late are we talking? We passed the kid's bed dinner time. I asked what he was doing. It didn't go well. Hold up. Has he been aggressive? I can't see how this is pertinent, Mr. Loader. Odette, personal details can make or break a case. 
I don't see how this would help you take a photo of my husband. I have to know how he thinks. Uh, I'm an investigator. I know, I, I know better what's required for the case. It's none of your business. Let's move on. I'm going to ask you important case details. Please be specific. Uh, what does he look like? It's a photo of him. He's an otter, of course. A little stockier than you. He wears glasses, square ones, and his wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase to and from work. Uh, have you met any of his na friends? No, but he's mentioned a few guys. Says they get together after work sometimes. His full name. Jeremy Green. I think the people at work call him Jez. How would I pick him out of a crowd? He wears a suit to work. I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. Where does he work? At the Wolf Bank on Granville. I'll write the address down for you. That should be enough. It's just a matter of my fee. I can give you a hundred now and fifty when you're done. Will that supply suffice? Yes, plus any unexpected expenses. Oh, yeah, we go, party. It's not just my life riding on this. I can only afford one shot. What assurance can you give me that you're the right guy for the job? To be honest, I can't. <laughs> well, that's not a great way to uh, start off. Um, okay. I care about my clients. Your problems are my problems. Don't let me down, Mr. Loader. I trust you with my life. Of course. I'll get right on it. I'll call you later. Goodbye, Odette. Okay, tab to see our new objective. Find Jeremy Green and evidence of infidelity. He works at Wolf Bank on Granville. It's a good place to start. All right, let's go to Granville. I'm really enjoying the atmosphere of this. It's really sort of, uh, I love this sort of cozy, gritty, detective sort of thing. It's actually... Well, I was going to say, it's reminding me of a movie that I watched just recently, um, but that wasn't cozy at all. Is uh, Seven. I think it was like in the 90s or something. It had Brad Pitt and uh, Morgan Freeman in it. And basically they're chasing down a serial killer who's working on uh, the seven sins, the seven deadly sins. Granville smells like wet concrete, overpriced fast food and puke. My kind of battleground. Ooh boy, I love talking. We gotta talk to everybody. Yo, old man. Take a look at this photo. Have you seen this guy around? Nah, man. Nah, man. Even if I had, why would I tell you? Yeah? How's your day so far? Just hanging. What's up with you? You could say I'm hanging. Um. Okay. We're just gonna get going. From my hanging to yours. Peace, bro. Goodbye, then. Don't need to... Furman, it says, Furman, one slick, silver-tongued devil of a mountain lion. When I go crazy and kill someone, I hope I can afford him. Alright, well, I guess we don't like that man very nice, very much. Ooh, posters. The day I bought a bike, the life of a young, handsome ape turns to shambles when he crosses paths with dangerous men, and he does it on his bike. Wow. The title kind of spoiled that. I'm not going to lie. Anatoly! Hey, if it isn't Mr. Howie, was a rascal like you up to this fine evening? Hey, Anatoly, I'm looking for someone. You got a minute? Uh, yes. You know, I have a terrible memory for faces, but hey, want to hear a great story? Um, sure. So my wifey Estrella and I, we, go, we got a second lad on the way. Ah, congratulations. Welcome. Thanks. He's a big one, too. As he is round as a watermelon, right? So I tell her, Ha! Woman, you get any bigger and, you out, and I won't fit you in the trunk of a car. Ha! Great. Can you answer a couple of my questions first? How he's up. What's so important you can't let a friend tell his story? I'm looking for a guy. Here's the photo. You seen him recently? Pfft. I don't know, Howie. I see so many faces. I know those scrawny sorts like flashing their cash at the bite, though. Have you seen him there? I look like the kind of guy to be in there, as he'd have my balls. Anyway, Howie, you're scaring off my clients, you know? Alright, thanks, Anatoly. See you around. Alrighty. Well, finally, we got something from somebody. They did a great job restoring the Vogue. If people watched more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so sad. I, you know, I wholly agree that. Hey, those is... Johnny and John, Don't Drive. Now that's a movie I want to go see. 
Ooh, what's this? Poster. Ed Simmons is the rising jazz star. See her tonight, only at the Batel the only at the bite. Neat. I should check this out once I'm done with the case. Well, we're going to the bite anyway. Bank. Woof Bank. This is is this where Green works? Yes, sir. I would think so. Banker. Okay. Well, he's got to know something. Yeah. How are you doing this pleasant evening? Why do you care? Take a look at this photo. Have you seen this man recently? The fuck, Jez? What's going on? Um. Okay, we're gonna we're 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 a detective. We gotta go undercover. Asshole owes me money. I've been looking for him everywhere. Well, say hi to Derek here, cause you two are probably not gonna see your money again. I'll find him and make. I'll find him and make sure it doesn't happen again. Seen him today? Yeah, but the wimp ass left early. He's scared Derek's gonna split his wig. <laughs> Something happened at work? Heard his contract is not getting renewed. Bastard out it coming. Do you boys spend a lot of time with him outside of work? Yeah, we used to have a blast at the bite every Thursday. Until he turned into a needy leech. The bite. Could he be there now? How the fuck would I know? Now skedaddle, rack. I'll just do I'll do just that. I ain't gonna hang around. You guys are just mean. We gonna go to the bite. Hmm, might not fight in with this fancy crowd. Thankfully, I'm a charming boy. Well, y'all better be, because you're seriously line cutting. I'd be more... Wait. What do you want? Can I get inside? Still no. Don't ask again. Um, okay. I got a... How can I... Okay. Ooh. That's cool. All right. Ali, let's go. Larry. he's in, What do you know, Larry? Howard, well, I'll be damned. Is that you? Larry? It's me. It's been too long. What's going on, old man? Ha. Ah, who are you calling old, you old rascal? Ha. Ah, all right. That's fair. Plus, these rags don't help my appearance any. I didn't expect to see you to be here, to be honest. Well, who really expects to see anyone of note in a back alley? What's going on? What are you up to? Wait. Do you live here? Live? Have you seen how tough the crowd? Th have you seen the tough crowd here? <laughs> I live at the bridge now. It's not as bad as it sounds, I guess. I'm so sorry, Larry. Can I help out in any way? Not really. Thank you, though. What's now? What's your deal? Have you seen an otter guy around here recently? What did he do? Uh, can't tell. Client confidentiality. Must be a shifty guy. What's he like? He's about my height, chubby, and wears a green hat. Haven't seen him, sorry. Let me know if you need anything. I'm here often and hear people talk. I got a lead, but the bouncer won't let me into the bite. Tough break. It's really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. You said you guys an otter? That's weird. Have any idea of how I could get in? What you could do is ask Johnny. He'd know better than me. Who's Johnny? Squirrel kid with a leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't entirely know what his deal with the bite is, but they're chummy. What sort of stuff does Johnny push? You're typical, like Hype and Shatterfang. Oh, get this, he started rolling out something he called Monkey Butt. Who comes up with these names? It's like they don't want you to do drugs. And you think this Johnny guy would help? Might take some convincing, but he's chill. I've seen him help people... I've seen him help people cut the line. His clients, I think. What is Monkey Butt? Yeah, the word is this new thing's the shit. Though perhaps it's a bit less figuratively than one would wish. Stanky thing. Does it have a kind of herbal stink? I've no first-hand experience, but I guess that could be a more delicate way to put it. Um, all right. You got it, Howard. A welcome distraction, really. See you soon? Sure, Larry. Thank you. I'll see you. Okay. Well, uh, we don't we, we don't want to crouch right now. That's, that just looks... I think, wasn't Johnny the guy back here? I think he was. The really cool looking guy. Yeah, right there. Johnny, you there? You Johnny? Who's asking? Name's Wallace. Maybe, bro. Maybe. Heard you got monkey butt. 
That sounds questionable. The fuck? Where did you get that stupid idea, Striper? It goes around. Will you help me out? Look, old man, you couldn't handle the stuff, even if I did have it. Hey, kid, just... Um... Uh... But you know where to get it. Just square things between me and the bouncer. Hank doesn't let any old chump in, for good reason. Let's say I make you sim simpatico. Uh, we'll just we'll just brush over that. We uh, we we don't need to know that. I can't say that. Where where where? What does Johnny get in return? Uh, Johnny gets to be not introduced to the cops. The fuck? You really trying to threaten me? Not a threat. More like encouragement. I'll get you in, but I hope they got you in there so I can wipe my feet on your pelt. Meet me the entrance. Move. Charming, thanks. All right. Now we can go and get in. All righty. Here we go. Talk to the bouncer. What are you waiting for? What do you want? Here's Johnny! Hey Johnny, another client for us to entertain. Heh, <laughs> Striper, you can come in. Don't cause any trouble. Thanks. Go in. Alrighty. It's loading. Shh, you just have to wait. Just be very patient while it's loading. There we go. It's coming. We can hear the ambient sounds. Do you like this ASMR? Alright. Here we go. Okay. I am going to leave this episode here. Uh, it was a really good taste of the game. So far, I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's re It has a really great atmosphere. There's a lot of these, like, sort of pixelated side-scroller sort of games that uh, they're fun to play, um, but they're just kind of, like, flat, you know? But this is really neat. It has a lot of depth, and there's so much detail in the uh, the background, which I really, really like. And, of course, the music is... Hmm. We love that. But, uh, I really hope that you enjoyed this. And, uh, if you did, make sure that you boop that like button and hit subscribe. And that way you'll know when I put out the next episode of this. Which will hopefully not be too far off in the future. Because I'm really enjoying playing this. That's all for me for now, but I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.